Shalom, party people, and welcome to the 12th C. It is December 7, 2022, anniversary of the day that will live in infamy. Day 67 of 75. Hard 41-ish degrees at the time of my run this morning, 5.35 a.m. Took me forever to get up, forever to get ready, forever to get out the door. Uh, ran three miles in 25-ish minutes, yeah, about 25 minutes. Um, it was kind of a thing of necessity. Had to force myself to run as quickly as I could. Uh, you know, I, I would like to continue to speed up that 5K time. We'll see where that goes. It is um, a step in the right direction considering I was doing 28-minute 5Ks due to just a million factors. But um, I, I think we can shave some time off that. There's a rookie numbers we can get those down. <laughs> So, um, walking, stretching, a little bit of stair steps, nothing that mattered on those stair steps, but it was there. Um, let's see, peanut butter, banana, oatmeal for breakfast, uh, did red beans and rice with turkey, carrots, hummus, and an apple for lunch, and then had kind of a beef and vegetable potato stew for dinner with uh, some homemade rolls, like crescent rolls or whatever that were homemade. And they were delicious and I had too many of those homemade crescent rolls, but they were really good. Excuses or lies, I you know, didn't need to eat as many of those homemade crescent rolls as I did, but it is what it is. Bible reading, Hebrews 7 through James 3. Yeah, Hebrews 7 through James 3. And then um, continuing in resistance operating concepts. Uh, I'm not going to go super deep into it today. Um, this was just uh, continuing on. I'm in the second chapter uh, reading about, um, oh, sabotage that can go on. There's a couple different types of sabotage, whether you're going to be strategic or whether you're going to be general about it and those strategic targets have value and um, you know maybe it's like a bridge that all of the shipping goes through um, maybe it is a uh, um, instance that hey this particular location is you know a hub for xyz whatever um, and that's a that's a strategic sabotage target that can really cripple the um, the enemy the, uh, the other side of it is you'd have general, and typically when you do general sabotage, is um, some of that can come into, um, like what we were talking about yesterday with the, uh, the passive resistance, uh, where the, the general sabotage is, is slowly chipping away at the overall efforts. Uh, or it could be like, hey, we're going to target fuel supplies um, that are all over. And if some of that spills over to where, uh, your average nine to five citizen is having some fuel supplies issues, then so be it kind of a thing. So that, that general can have some specific elements to it, but it, it's a broader brush and, uh, typically more people than just the intended target are the ones who are affected directly by that. And that, that can have some positives that can have some negatives on the side of the positives is that, uh, you know, an occupying force, if you can sway the, those being occupied to where they're like, Hey, this, this government or whatever that's in here can't legitimately protect us. Can't legitimately do anything like it. there's, Sometimes you can sway opinion. Other times it can work against you. And it's like, hey, we don't like the rebels because the rebel alliance is, you know, just doing their own thing and they're not looking out for the little guy. So it, it does go both ways. Um, but, you know, I, I guess having the name the rebel alliance in your favor uh, is more helpful <laughs> because people like Star Wars. Um, and then also just going in on... Uh, power and command structures and how a lot of those need to be in place um, in advance and having the right people in the right places, having the right skill sets in the right places. Um, so that way you can spin up, you know, your group size fast and be able to resist accordingly. Uh, 
I, I'm enjoying the resistance operating concepts, although I'm I'm intentionally taking this one as a very slow read because I just don't want to speed through this. I was looking at all the books that I've uh, I've gone through, and this is book number eight yeah, for 75 hard. You know, we're not even not even 70 days in and pushing pushing our eighth book. So this is this is the most I've read in the shortest period of time for sure, and so I'm. I'm enjoying that. There's there's stuff that I really want to go back and go over. There's uh, my own copies that I would like to pick up of some of these books. Uh, so it's it's been it's been quite the journey. Uh, that's, that's something that uh, I think we all need to do more of is read. Um, I need to I need to read fast, slow. I need to you know not watch so many YouTube videos and actually continue to pick up books and. You know, not the the Forrest Gump, uh, Jenny, expand my mind thing, but, you know, actually broaden horizons by picking up good books and um, books that we wouldn't normally read otherwise and help build those, those mental faculties for sure and get opinions and successes and failures experience from other people that, you know, we can live a thousand lifetimes reading books and that that is so much more valuable than uh, than anything else that's out there as far as uh, as far as a knowledge base is if you can instill a love of reading into somebody that their horizons expand so much more but yeah go do hard things